Hey guys, Rob Boehner with LiveX here, and today I've got an unboxing of the Decimator MD Cross. Now, we've used this unit on several of our projects before, and typically we put them into a systems integration for prompter control, uh, prompter flip and scale, but uh, we decided to go ahead and purchase one ourselves to use here at LiveX. Uh, so, essentially, this is it. Uh, Decimator's got great branding with their red and black design. Uh, I've always liked their red and black branding. Ever since I first saw their uh, advertisement on the wall of uh, the outside wall of the Vegas Convention Center at NAB. Here's the uh, unit. It comes in this pink bubble wrap. All of their stuff comes in that pink bubble wrap and their box configurations pretty much look like that. What we have here is the HDMI to and SDI cross converter. It's the MD Cross V2. It includes overlays and a test pattern generator. This little box is like a Swiss Army knife for a lot of different things that you may have to do on a live show or in a broadcast environment. To start with, it has a 3G SDI input and an HDMI input. Uh, it supports up to 1080p 60 and then it also has uh, output one and output two which you can configure differently depending on the different needs of where you need to send the signal. Uh, the HDMI input also has an HDMI output that's configurable. So none of these are loop throughs, they're all configurable uh, HDMI and SDI outputs. So uh, this also works essentially like an SDI to HDMI converter or vice versa. If you wanted to take in an HDMI signal and spit out SDI, then you, you can do that here as well as take in SDI and spit out HDMI. But there are some cooler things that you can do with it other than a standard converter. So it's called the MD Cross because it cross converts. Now what that means is that you can take this box and put it in between uh, your laptop that's controlling prompter and prompt and your, your uh, glass for prompter, your monitor glass for prompter, and you can flip the signal, make it larger, uh, scale it to whatever resolution you need. Some of the older legacy prompters only accept standard def through like a VGA cable uh, or something like that. So you may need an HDMI to VGA or HDMI to DVI, something like that, um, to give you that standard def format for the prompter, but um, it, it also uh, will allow you to horizontal and vertical flip, which is very important. Uh, a lot of things that provide scaling may not provide flipping. Uh, a lot of things that may flip may not scale. Uh, I'm talking about monitors themselves typically, not like dedicated boxes for doing this. But uh, that's pretty much the gist of that and why this box is so important and should become a part of your regular workflow and you should have it just in case you need to spray out something to like a, a weird screen size or uh, like a projection mapping situation or something like that. This is essentially like a baby uh, Folsom Image Pro. I mean, it can't do everything that a Folsom Image Pro can do, but it'll do 90% of the things you need it to do and work really well for whatever, whatever your broadcast is. So. Uh, um, other than that, on the side here, we have the locking power connector. All Decimator products have a locking power connector, which is really handy, and so you know it's not going to come loose during a show. USB for firmware updates and any automatic control. The menu systems can be a little tricky at first. Uh, once you get through them, you essentially just got to keep trying settings until you get the one that you want. Uh, I remember the first time I set up one of these particular units, I, it took me a little while, about 15 minutes or so once I had it all hooked up, of keep cycling through um, all the options to finally get the desired result that I was looking for right out of the box. Uh, just give yourself a little bit of time on first setup. And then once you have it set up in, in, in the environment the way you want it, just leave it alone. Don't touch it. So yeah, uh, what we're going to do now is just go through the rest of it. We have a USB cable for firmware updates and an HDMI cable. These are uh, Decimator uh, color, 
HDMI cable, so you, there won't be any tracing cables to figure out which one is connected to the MD cross. It's very easy to tell with all Decimator products. You'll know which HDMI cable is connected to it because it's this bright orangish red color. Uh, there's a little little plate here that allows some different mounting options as well as the power supply. Oh wow, this one's red. So this must be a little update um, because most of the other Decimator products that I've seen, uh, their power supplies are always good. They always include this locking power connector, which is really nice, but they're always black. And uh, this is the first one that I've seen that is red. And uh, I like it, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of loud, but you know, so much in our world is black and boring, and it's kind of nice that they took a bold stance with their uh, marketing and uh, branding to come out with these red, bright red products that uh, there's no mistaking. When you see one laying down somewhere, you know exactly what it is. Here's the manual. Uh, there, th this goes through all the different options and stuff like that, but uh, you know, I, I, did, I never used the manual before. I just kind of poked and hoped. But if you hunt around in the menu systems, it's not too difficult. You can get to where you need to go in just a few minutes. So that's pretty much it for the Decimator MD Cross V2. And once again, I'm Rob Baynard, producer at LiveX, and this has been another unboxing. Take care, guys.